A few days ago, I uploaded a video discussing the security benefits of Linux compared to Windows. Since then, news of the XSeed backdoor has come to light, impacting several Linux distributions. So, what is the XSeed backdoor? It was Friday, March 29th, when a Microsoft developer and engineer, Andres Freund, experienced a problem with Debian SSH. SSH is the most widely used protocol for remotely logging into devices over the internet. He noticed that SSH logins were consuming too many CPU cycles and generating errors. After too much struggle and Freund's careful eye, the problem was found in the newly updated Exceed Utils. You might be familiar with Exceed Utils. It provides lossless data compression on virtually all Unix-like operating systems, including Linux. XE Utils provides functions for compressing and decompressing data during all kinds of operations. In fact, most Linux packages come XE compressed. The toolset comes installed by default on most modern Linux distributions. Handris Freund alerted the open source community about this backdoor. Later on, it was found that the version 5.6.0 and 5.6.1 were only affected by this. The person behind this project likely spent years on it. It was found that a chief programmer and maintainer of the XZ data compression library, Jia Tan, had put a backdoor in the code. Tan had been a contributor to the XZ project since at least late 2021 and built trust with the community of developers working on it. Eventually, though the exact timeline is unclear, Tan ascended to being co-maintainer of the project alongside the founder, Lassie Collin, allowing Tan to add code without needing the contributions to be approved. In February of 2024, Tan issued commits for versions 5.6.0 and 5.6.1 of XZ Utils. The updates implemented the backdoor. So what does this backdoor do? In a nutshell, it allows someone with the right private key to hijack SHD, the executable file responsible for making SSH connections, and from there to execute malicious commands. The backdoor is implemented through a five-stage loader that uses a series of simple but clever techniques to hide itself. It also provides the means for new payloads to be delivered without major changes being required. According to a report of HelpNet Security, Red Hat, Fedora, Debian and Kaylee Linux are mostly affected by this backdoor. Now it's time to check whether our systems are vulnerable to this attack. The first method is to check your XZ utils versions. Open your terminal and type XZ version. This will show you your XZ utils version. If it shows version 5.6.0 or 5.6.1, you might be vulnerable. Otherwise, you're safe. Another method to find this backdoor is by using the script provided officially by Kaylee Linux. Follow their blog post instructions to obtain the script. Once you have the code, come back to your terminal and create a new bash file. Now paste the copied code into the file. Running this script will tell you whether you are vulnerable or not. Another method to check for vulnerabilities is by using a pre-built script. I found this script on GitHub. If I provide the link in the description, just go there and download the script. After downloading, return to your terminal and give executable permissions to the downloaded script. Now run the script and it will show you whether you are vulnerable or not. Now if you discover you're vulnerable to this backdoor, you should remove XE utils and also restart your SSH services. All right, everyone, that's all for today. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and liking for more content. If you'd like to support me, you can buy me a coffee using the link in the description. Stay safe and healthy.